Well, is this what the government meant by cold, dark winter? Because we got snowpocalypse, and it's not even winter yet. Oh, damn. Just to give you an idea, these plants are usually up there. And another idea, this, that shouldn't have been there. This snow is usually, this amount of snow would usually be like a really bad winter snowstorm. But today I think it's October 12th. So there's a broken tree branch. All my trees are all spent. You know, you'll never regret being prepared, but you'll regret not being prepared. Like, I should have put the splitter away. Dang it. At least my wood was covered. So let's go. I'll show you around. <clears throat> and just in case some of you snow wimps, no offense, but uh, we haven't canceled school yet. So hold on, let me come in here and let me flip you around here. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if, whoops. Yeah, I don't know if you can see me. Hopefully you can, but I, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt, my army wool gloves. I have my old firefighting boots on. And that's all you need because it's not really that cold. Maybe for you warmer climate people, but it's probably only 30 something. Hi. Okay, the wife doesn't like to be on the videos. So, oh, here's my kindling pile. See, prepared. <laughs> not just a studio prepper. All right, I'll take you around this way. I'll show you the whole proper talk. Actually, let me get a. Uh, the wife's already taking the shovels out. Okay, that's fine. All right, right here now we're in kind of in the, like the back barn area and the gym. Okay, so here we are. Oh, poop. Oh, no. Well, that was my almond tree. That's broken. Well, I guess I have good wood to smoke with. That's a branch. Oh, here's little Rosie. Hi, sweetie. Well, this is probably the most snow she's ever seen in one night. Um, Daddy. Yes, sweetie. It snows in my shoes right now. Oh, geez. So those trees are not supposed to look like that. That roof should look like that probably in February. Um, see, I didn't even get my hammocks put away. Oh, geez. So this situation looks pretty. But it can also be dangerous. So there's a tree branch there that's down. There's a tree there that's down. There's a power line that runs the back of my property back there. It's good. Power line there is good, so... I guess I'm not drying clothes anytime soon. Alright. Gee whiz. There's a lot of friggin' snow. See, this grass is still green. Of course, the dummy dog loves it. Oh, dear. Okay. So this tree is no bueno. Let's see if I can get a... Can I use a stick to try to... Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Probably shouldn't let a giant tree grow above my chicken coop. It seemed like a good idea at the time, <laughs> but now there's broken branches on my chicken coop. Well, it makes a nice little habitat for him, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. Okay, that was the garden. Let's see. Oh, I just heard another tree break. That's why it's dangerous out here. You got to be careful and look before you walk under something. This tree here is probably broken. So big Siberian elm tree. Yep. Free firewood. Wow. Let's see if I can. Ah, oh, he rises again. The tree, it rises. That tree's not gonna rise, he's dead. Let's see. This is my food forest. You're going to see that on a video coming up. Oh, shoot. Another tree broke. 
my neighbors are gonna be pissed. <laughs> See if I can save any of these trees. Okay, I'm going under. If the tree kills me, this will be my, oh good. So see up there, it's not broken. But look at what the snow can do to a tree. Isn't that amazing? Let's get under here. Ooh, it's cold. Well, the snow is when it goes down your shirt. Kind of let him have a break here. Maybe we can salvage some trees, huh? Sorry if this is too shaky, but you know, that's how it goes. So anyway, oh no, not my apple tree. This kind of sucks. These are my black locust. I grow for firewood. Tough tree, so there we go. Wake up tree. We don't bat end anybody over here. There's only one king in this homestead. And it ain't snow and it ain't the government. Comment down below who my king is. Let's see if he's the same as your king is the same as mine. <sighs> well, if you're still watching, we got somewhere around a foot of snow. So just consider this a winter homestead tour, even though it's not winter yet. That's, I guess it's close enough, right? The dates don't matter, it's the weather that matters. My poor apple tree. Oh dear. Wow. He lives. All right. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the apple tree. This is another elm tree. Siberian elm is a junk tree. That grows like a weed, but I just let it grow because it's free firewood. This guy is an almond tree. So later, when the snow melts, I'll show you all the damage without the snow in it. It'll be easier to see what's happening. This is my apple tree. No apples this year. This was its, wow. This was its off year this year. So, mainly take care of my fruit trees, especially this one. It's the only fruit tree that's left that me and my late brother planted. Actually, I think we planted this one too. What do you think? Should I dust off the snow on top of my head? No, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> did I mention that school hasn't been canceled yet? So. We had about a foot of snow overnight, and it's only, wow, minor power outages, and only two schools got canceled, not because of the snow, technically, but because of the power outages. So if they had power, they still would have been having school. Hey, Rose, don't be near here because the trees are danger, okay? Let's see. Uh, all right, nobody's broken in here. These are some pretty big trees. So we'll come this way. Those are more Siberian elms. They grow really fast. Uh, I have used them for like fence posts, but usually I just let them grow to about that big. I was hoping to get next year out of them. And then I chop them down and burn them. Yeah, there's a, let's see, there's a broken branch. It looks like the tree is still good though. Look at that tree. That tree's seen better days, huh? This is the, oh yeah. So that broke right up there. And I don't know. Okay, here we go again. If I die, well, this will be the recording, huh? Let's see if that's broken. No, nope, not broken. So later, when I'm not on video camera, I'll get in there and I'll 
get in there and uh, shake the snow off that. Hopefully keep it from breaking. Yeah, I've lived here for 17 years. And I've never seen this heavy a snow. Probably this never, never this heavy. But for sure not this early. This is way early. So I'm just going to go ahead and blame, blame Joe Biden. Let's go Brandon, right? Oh man, what the heck is this? I didn't even see this. It's another Siberian elm. See, I mean, look. There's still apples on the ground. That's crazy. It's really crazy when the seasons kind of mix together like this. <laughs> Lately, it's been a lot of... Um, spring in the summer it just gets hot all of a sudden hopefully we can save this one and in all honesty these trees that are just down in the yard will probably wait until spring the one on the neighbor's fence I'll probably just pull it over but they have to now that they're down they have to dry out anyway so let's let them stay where they're at they're not bothering anybody except look at here <laughs> this is a grapevine that I let grow up the trees and he's all <laughs> he's all spent <sighs> yeah come live in the country it'll be great they say come on tree come back to life This guy needs some dusting. So anyway, uh, all right, that's good. I'll come back and do the rest when you guys aren't watching. Here's my homestead. Can't really see it right now, but um, oh, let's save that black locust. Wow, a lot of dang snow. That's what she looks like. Of course, it's a homestead slash kid backyard. So see, you guys can mix lifestyles. Let's go over and look at the almond tree before I sign out. The roosters, he's all pissed off. His name's William Wallace. My daughter named him. Oh, geez, look at this. Uh, this was my garden, or one of my gardens. I'm probably stepping on now dead tomato plants. <sighs> Compost pile. I'm not going to walk under that. Holy shiznit. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, so those trees did break up there. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Just when I thought I could rest because my emergent canning was over. Now I have to clean up trees. This is just wonderful. There's the kid's playhouse. He did good. It's going to be our outhouse when the walking dead times come. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's walk over here. Let's see what I heard snap. Oh yeah, see? I mean, that's a pretty big branch. It's probably at least a three inch diameter branch and it just snapped off and that's no wussy tree either oh, wow look at that one that one broke off too that's like a six seven eight inch that's good wood right there okay right here save my favorite trees these are my little tree forest they all started with you guys aren't familiar with quaking aspen this big fat one in the middle He's the daddy, or the mommy, I guess, of all these other quaking aspen in this little forest of quaking aspens. And they all grew from her, him, whichever. And we like to come over here into the hammocks. And it's super cool under the cover of these trees. Yeah, it's going to be a long winter, I think. It's going to 
be a long, cold, wet winter, so you guys better be ready. Whenever you think you're ready, nature always comes and spanks you. Whoa, there's a hole there. Nature says, no, dummy, you're not ready. Yeah. So, well, almond tree's still alive. That's a pretty bad gash, though. I'll have to talk to my tree guy. One of my neighbors is a master arborist, and he can help me out. Or one of my good friends is also just an arborist, and he loves trees, and he'll be able to tell me what's what. Jeez Louise. What am I? Oh. oh, no. Damn it. Ah, oh, my favorite tree. One of my favorite trees. I know every tree sounds like my favorite. But, damn. That really sucks. That tree is a, I think they call it a Chinese sycamore. And it's, wow, that one broke too. Yeah, that's what it would look like. But now, now it looks like, like that. So that's good. Whoa, shit. <laughs> that was another tree broke, breaking. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Another elm tree. So I should probably get to work and start knocking these down before I get crushed. All right. Well, thanks for watching.